I didn't think he had a snowball's chance. But I'm certainly glad I was wrong. I never expected him to win, even though I voted for him. They said, now, Donald, you're going to win Wisconsin, but you have to come here. I said, what do you mean, come here? I've been there many times, but he said, no, no, be here. So I've been here so much, you're starting to get sick of me, I hope, right? Huh? I hope. Hillary Clinton has had a solid lead for a year, but the Trump campaign believes that in this unpredictable election year, Wisconsin could be an unpredictable win. Please be aware of all of our exits on the train. All windows and doors must remain closed at all times unless instructed by an Amtrak. Hold on. Stand by. There's a, there's a big old call to make right now, and that is Fox News is projecting that Donald Trump has won the state of Wisconsin. Donald Trump has won the state of Wisconsin. He's cracked the so-called blue wall that Hillary Clinton had tried to create. Donald Trump wins Wisconsin, surpassing the 270 electoral votes. He would need to take the presidency. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. was barely in play. Als domino stenen vielen ze om. Deze stadjes langs de Mississippi River in Wisconsin. Decennia lang waren ze in democratische handen. Tot 8 november vorig jaar. Thank you to the people of Wisconsin. Incredible people. Uitgerekend Wisconsin, waar Hillary Clinton op het laatst niet eens meer campagne voerde, bracht Trump aan de macht. They're back in the uh, storeroom here. Republicans swept to victory in both state and national races Tuesday with Donald Trump defeating Hillary Clinton for the presidency. When I went to vote on uh, Tuesday, I had a feeling something had changed when I saw a lot of people at the polls that I'd never seen there before. On election day. On election day. And just from listening to their conversation, I could tell they were Trump supporters. As far as this being a forgotten area, I think the, no one I know around here ever got a, a poll, a pollster called them. So I'm thinking they, they went after the, the bigger cities and they sort of ignored the rural areas and that's where Trump won. Een jaar na de grootste verrassing uit de Amerikaanse politieke geschiedenis, blikken we terug met kiezers. Het gevoel dat ze hier stilstaan terwijl de rest van het land voortdendert, zit bij iedereen diep. Our state and federal government, they have forgotten us over here. Period. If you want to do anything in the state of Wisconsin, you want to live in what we call the Fox River Valley, Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Green Bay, Sheboygan, and all of those towns. Real, honest middle class people feel forgotten all over this country. People will come in here because they know from other people that instead of paying you $15 an hour, you can pay the people around here $8 an hour and they'll still work. So there is work. It's yeah, just it not just doesn't, well. doesn't pay well. His slogan, Make America Great Again, it appealed to me, the little person that nobody knows, you know, that nobody notices I'm, you know. And there's a lot of those in Wisconsin, especially in Crawford County. Do you feel lo looked down on? I just feel ignored. I guess I consider myself an independent because I vote for who I like, whether it's Democrat, Republican. I voted for Obama twice. So, <laughs> you know. But yet you were disappointed by him. I was because nothing changed. My dad actually was a farmer, you know, he, he was a Democrat, but, you know, people have Christian moral values around this place, uh, maybe more conservative values, and they lost their way because when they were pushing rights, which, you know, I'm all for people's rights in this country, doesn't matter sexual orientation and that, but a lot of things that the Democratic Party were, pr were pushing were big city ideas, you know, like transgender, homosexuality, things like that, and I think a lot of people around here didn't agree with that. 
We just needed a businessman. Someone in business. I shouldn't say a man. That wouldn't be politically correct. But, you know, a business person. I voted for Mr. Obama the first time because I thought we needed a change. Now I'm complete Trump man. I, I just not that heavily invested in politics then. And my wife says now I'm too vested, so. We've seen President Trump come into office and he's expressed frustration over and over and over again, in particular with his own party, which has a majority, and yet they've been unable to move the needle legislatively. Uh, do you understand he's that? done more in them nine months than Obama or the rest of them did in eight years than the eight years before. Like what? Oh, and I see, uh, I'm not a professional at this, so I'm just a John Doe regular guy. But, uh, well, the, and now that what he's trying to do, the tax reform and stuff, he, he's just got roadblocks every time he wants to do something. Bijna alles wat Trump dit jaar probeerde mislukte. Bovenal het terugdraaien van de zorgwet van Obama. Maar de kiezers hier geven hem daar niet de schuld van. They just waste so much money on their arrogant ass selves that could fix problems, the infrastructure, everything. But they just waste it on themselves. They go in there re local unknown status and they come out millionaires and I'm like that's somebody's grease in somebody's pockets I'm a local official I'm not getting rich off my municipality and they shouldn't be getting rich off of me if the political community including his own party would help him somewhat Toch zijn er ook kiezers die spijt hebben van hun stem I was happy that night. I was glad that he beat out Hillary. Now I am not happy. What he says is very inflammatory and, and very derogatory towards other people. So it, it's not good. But it was like that during the campaign, yet you did yes, vote for him. Yes, it was. I didn't notice that, that at all. He was giving kids rides on his helicopter and, you know, just playing a good man. He was just lying to us during the campaign just to become president because that was a power thing for him. They said there is no path to victory for Donald Trump. They forgot about the forgotten people. But do you remember that incredible night with the maps and the Republicans are red and the Democrats are blue, and that map was so red, it was unbelievable, and they didn't know what to say. I'd vote for him again, you know. He's shaking things up. He's got people thinking. He's, you know, he's trying to do good things, I feel, for the, for the United States, and, and I'm a part of that, the United States. So if he does good for them, for the whole, It'll trickle down to me eventually.